What's up guys? I'm Meredith Bose, one of your Delaware Fun A Day organizers alongside the very awesome and wonderful Katie LeCoque. Now, a reminder that the Fun A Day sign up deadline is coming up on February 25th at midnight. So just make sure that you sign up by that day so that you can be in the exhibit. We already have 134 artists registered as of today, February 20th at 10.30 this morning. And we're hoping for more. Now it's our 10th anniversary, which means we've been doing this for 10 years. Last year, we had 351 amazing artists sign up to participate with us. And as expected, this year is gonna be a little bit of a lower number because we're 100% virtual and because of COVID. It's completely understandable. We just wanna make sure that anybody who wants to sign up or can sign up this year has the opportunity to do so. The only thing we need you to do is sign up by February 25th at midnight and anybody anywhere can participate in Delaware Fun A Day. A general reminder that Delaware Fun A Day is in all ages, all skill sets, all art mediums, non juried community centric art project and show. Now, what this video is mainly going to be about is what does that mean when we say it's an all ages, you know, all skill sets art show. How does that culminate and come to be, especially during a virtual year? So for starters, and as a general reminder, the show this year is going up on our website. We're also creating a Facebook album. We're also gonna be creating a Flickr album. We're also gonna be doing at least a whole video with everybody's artwork, and we're putting that up on YouTube. We have one or two other places that we wanna to try to put the show up, but we're still working out logistics and they may or may not happen. We will keep you posted. Now, artwork is being submitted every day, meaning people are taking a photo of their artwork every day, or they're submitting a video file to us every day or an audio file to us every day. Some people are just gonna be working all month long and they're gonna be taking one big picture at the end of the month, or they're gonna be submitting one video to us at the end of the month or one audio file at the end of the month. And that's perfectly fine as well. Whatever makes it easier for you guys is what's gonna work for us. Each artist is getting their own individual folder on my Dropbox. So I have a big, huge honking Dropbox. It's like two terabytes big, it's huge. Um, that doesn't mean that your files should be huge, but it means that everyone's gonna have their own kind of private space to upload things. I'm not gonna be checking up on you throughout the month to see if you're putting things in the folder. It's for your use. And again, it's whatever is easiest for you to get your work to us. Now, when we talk about an art show, what specifically are we looking for? I can tell you right now, the types of projects that Delaware Funny Day exhibits are not all the traditional artwork that one might think of, like paintings or drawings or sculptures, ceramics. Those types of projects are wonderful and amazing, but Delaware Funny Day is so much more. We literally want to put on display and exhibit all kinds of artwork. Art is a, subject, uh, is a subjective term, excuse me. And so what you're viewing and what you're creating subjectively can or cannot be considered art by some people. It's all in the eye of the beholder. Katie and I like to think that we view most everything as art, um, whether it's visual or auditory or, or whatever. Um, this year, we obviously don't have much of the tangible aspect of art, so we're not getting a lot in terms of texture um, and interaction, but visually, and auditorily on websites and in our virtual albums, we're hoping to still get a lot of the same experience. Now, I can tell you offhand, some of the more unique projects that we're having this year uh, is one, we're having a voiceover person. They're gonna be doing a different audio every day. So they're gonna be doing different voices and they're gonna be submitting audio files and YouTube videos to us. And at the end of the month, they're gonna have all of this really great work that they've put together and all of these really great demo reels of themselves talking and doing different voices that they're gonna use in their professional portfolio. We also had an author reach out to us. They wanna write a chapter of their book every day, or at least some sort of passage to be 
you know, to go towards the overall book every day. And what they'd like to do is for us to share those chapters with all of the participants and all of the viewers of the exhibit. So we'll be sharing those through the social media for them. And they'll be adding to a sort of blog or website throughout the month. Now, we also have had musicians uh, display with us. They've worked on songs every day. Whether or not you're completing a song every day is a different to topic, but working on a song every day or working on your musical craft every day is definitely a Delaware Fun A Day project. Um, I've mentioned it before, but even our more athletically inclined or fitness minded participants can get in on fun a day and find a creative way to show us what they've been doing all month. Remember that this is fun a day. It's not art a day. The entire experience culminates into what we would consider to be an art show, but it's all about having fun every day. And whatever your idea of fun is, can be, displayed in an artistic or in a creative way or, or format. And so if you're stumped on how to do that, Katie and I have tons of suggestions for you. So even some of our fitness people, when you're out and you're jogging or you're running, you know, create a fun shape using an app, uh, you know, a create a fun shape with your route. Um, show us your cool jogging outfit, strike a pose, you know, blue steel style when you're out and about and you're lifting weights, you know, have fun with it, be kooky, be weird. Uh, we love it and find a way to show us what you're doing or expose us to something new that we might not know about. Uh, there's a lot of different artistic mediums out there. There's a lot of different activities that people are doing, especially during COVID. People are getting all kinds of creative. And so we wanna see it all. Now, Katie thought it might be a good idea if I talk about some of the kookier projects from Fun A Day uh, in years past, or even just to highlight some of the projects that I've done to give you guys an idea of some things that you could do. So one of the funnest examples I can give you, I believe it was a participant at Philly Fun A Day. They did belly button lint collection every day. So they were a male and every day he collected his belly button lint he put it into a small bag and then he artistically displayed those bags of belly button lint um, during the opening reception. It was absolutely, it was funny, it was, it was odd and interesting and definitely not something that you think that you would ever see in an, in an art exhibit. And yet it was so totally fun a day. Like that's what it's about is having fun and getting out of the typical box that you might imagine most art shows are, are in. So there's no snobbery involved. There's no turning up your nose. Traditionally, even when we exhibit in person, uh, we display artwork in a studio hang style. So it's very organic. The artwork oftentimes butts up against each other and grows organically. And people put their artwork next to each other in interesting and unusual ways. So in a typical art exhibit, you might see more space. It might have a particular you know, pattern or rhythm that the, that the overall exhibit is following. Fun A Day is a very kaleidoscopic, almost explosive sort of experience. And so when we're in person, it's really exciting. And this year, still, we're gonna have that same vibe virtually because all of our amazing art pieces and projects are gonna come together and they're still gonna be butting up next to each other and you're gonna be able to go from one to the other to the other. So just to give you an idea, vibing off of that belly button lint idea that I saw one year, the very first fun a day exhibit that I ever put together, uh, or project that I ever did, I should say, was all about my husband, Brandon. We did beard a day and it was all about him. So I dressed him up as different beardy characters. Here he is as a little safari guy catching butterflies that are stuck in his beard, right? Here he is as a as a fighting leprechaun, <laughs> or at least Irishman with cute little clovers in his beard. This one is not as character-y. It's just a really great uh, picture I took of him when we were out on the boat docks one day. I really ramped up his red and pulled it out. And, at, and throughout the entire month, one of the kooky things I was doing was I was collecting his beard hair. Now, I don't think I got it all, but I got as much as I could. And ultimately I had two ping pong paddle balls, um, paddles, sorry, that I wanted to use. And so I took his beard hair 
and I collected it and I put it onto a ping pong ball. It's probably got like half an inch of fluff on there. And on either side of the artwork, there's all these pictures of him with his beard. And then on either side, there's two ping pong paddles and one of them had the paddle ball. So it was kind of a commentary about playing with a hairball. It's just kind of kooky. Probably one of my weirder fun -a days projects, but there it is, I still have it. I have the whole project. Um, so if you've got a kooky idea, throw it at us or surprise us with it because we, we'd love to see it. Um, this is my 10th year doing Delaware Fun A Day. I am the longest running participant of Delaware Fun A Day, which means that I have not missed a year yet. This will be my 10th year. I've done a lot of different projects. And as you can see from just a few seconds ago, the projects used to be much bigger. You could actually display much larger pieces of artwork. Some of those are 16 by 20. And over the years, as our participant number has grown, the size of our artwork has gotten smaller. That's because in a physical show, we need to be able to fit in everybody's projects and we don't want any, any pieces to not make it into the show. And so we started putting a size limitation out there, a general guideline, if you will. That guideline, I would still recommend, even for this year, even though we're virtual and you don't technically have a size limit, I would still recommend focusing on making pieces that are five by seven or six by six or smaller. That is so that you can, um, you know, actually produce a piece of artwork every day and not experience fun a day burnout. That can happen when you start kind of big or super ambitious and then by the time the middle of the month hits, you start to get demotivated or it starts to feel like a burden and it starts to become less fun. So what we say is work smaller because you're gonna feel a better sense of accomplishment throughout the month. You'll get done a smaller piece, you'll move on to the next smaller piece and the next piece and the next piece and you'll be able to get through the month a lot easier if you think small and you think concise. That doesn't mean don't be unambitious. It just means make sure that you're biting off an appropriate you know, piece that you can actually chew for the month um, and don't bite off more than you can chew. So this year, to give you guys an idea, is the first year I'm gonna do some fair aisle knitting. So in all uh, honesty and disclosure, I started this piece back in fall and I didn't get through it. So this is just a fair aisle scarf and I have a long way to go. So this is not very long at all. And I'm gonna be using my fun a day this year as a motivator to, to add on to this and hopefully finish the scarf. So I'm just gonna pick up right where I left off. Um, maybe I'll finish this row before fun a day. So I'm starting fresh, but then every day during March, I'm gonna add a row to this fair isle scarf so that hopefully I'll have a finished scarf by the end. So if you think to yourself that it has to be starting fresh and from a clean slate, it doesn't. You can continue a project that you already started before, or you can start fresh, it's completely up to you. You can do something that completely scares you that you've never done before. You can do something that you're a practice hand at. You do them every day, and so you're just gonna keep doing them every day right through Delaware Fun A Day, that's fine. Katie and I do recommend prepping your project before the month officially begins. We still have about a week or so until Maker's Month starts on March 1st. And so you definitely still have time to get together supplies. I personally already have my yarn and stuff ready to go. And so it's gonna make jumping into the project that much easier. Actually behind me, I forgot he was there. I put him here on purpose. But this little Palpatine watercolor is something I think I did during my sixth or seventh fun a day. <laughs> I did a watercolor a day. So I had never done watercolor before, but as you can see, I mean, he's a little disproportionate, but I got pretty good throughout the month. So I most often use my fun a day as a sort of boot camp. It's a way to produce work, to get work done and out there, or as a way to just get into something that I've been meaning to get into. Watercolors, you know, I, I love watching videos. I wanted to try them out. So I just did them that year and figured it out. I encourage you to do the same. However you're coming to fun a day, whether you've done artwork a bajillion times in your life or whether you've never done artwork um, or, you know, done a creative project, definitely, definitely use this as your jumping off point or your launching point. Um, even if you're, like I said, a professional exhibiting artist that's already doing this full time, it's perfectly fine to 
just produce work every day for fun a day as per usual, but then actually show it in the show. Um, if you guys have any questions, please reach out to me and Katie. We are all ears. We're around the email. You can always give me a call. I don't mind giving out my number if you want to talk about your project. But the deadline to sign up again, February 25th. So this is a long video. It's because I wanted to give you a lot of information and a lot of things to consider. And hopefully I've answered a lot of questions for those of you that had specific questions. So Katie's working on another video for you. We're gonna be making videos all month long, giving you ideas, inspiration, and ways to exhibit your projects. But the bottom line is, we just want you to sign up and participate, and we will figure it out. It's gonna be awesome. We've been doing this for 10 years, so trust me, we've seen a lot. <laughs> There's not a lot we can't handle. So you guys are amazing. This is Meredith Bo signing off. And don't forget, Delaware Fun Today website, www. DelawareFunAday.com. Hope you guys sign up. Thank you, thank you, thank you.